Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question one from the International Mass Olympiad 2021. Let n be greater or equal to 100 and be an integer. Ivan writes the numbers n, n plus 1, n plus 2, all the way to 2m, each on different cards. He then shuffles these n plus 1 cards and divides them into two piles. Prove that at least one of the piles contains two cards such that the sum of their numbers is a perfect square. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. If there are some three special cards in the piles, the problem is solved. What is the property of the cards? Why three? Hint number two. Let the three cards we talked about in hint number one be A, B, and C. And let the special property be that A plus B, B plus C, and A plus C are all squares. For simplicity, you could try making the sums of the cards be consecutive squares. Hint number three. So you will need to show that you can always find the desired A, B, and C in the list N, N plus one, N plus two, all the way to two N. How could you do this? Well, why not try to use an inductive approach? So take a base case, find some property that you need to show, and then use induction. Solution. We will begin by noticing that if we can find three cards A, B, and C, such that the sum of each pair is a square, so A plus B is a square, B plus C is a square, and A plus C is a square, we are done. By pigeonhole principle, one pile will have two of the three cards, and we know that we can sum the cards up to get a square. Now, for feasibility, let A plus B B plus C and A plus C be three consecutive squares. Now, because the sum of A plus B, B plus C and A plus C is two multiplied by A plus B plus C, which is even, the sum of the squares must be even. And so they must be odd, even odd, because even odd, even would be odd. So they will be of the form 2k minus 1 squared, 2k squared, and 2k plus 1 squared for some integer k greater or equal to 1. Now we can do some quick algebra to find 2a is equal to a plus b plus a plus c minus b minus c. So 2a is 2k minus 1 squared plus 2k plus 1 squared minus 2k squared, which is 4k squared plus 2. And so A is 2K squared plus 1, B is 2K squared minus 4K, and C is 2K squared plus 4K. Now we just need to find that these A, B, and C exist, and that they are between N and 2M. So it's enough to show that the smallest of A, B, and C, um, 2K, squared minus 4k is greater or equal to n, and the largest of a, b, and c, which is c or 2k squared plus 4k, is less than or equal to the largest of the cards, which is 2n. Or another way to put it, for n greater or equal to 100, k squared plus 2k is less than or equal to n, which is less than or equal to 2k squared minus 4k. Now, for n equals 100, we could quickly see that k equals 9 holds. k squared plus 2k is 81 plus 18, which is 99. And 2k squared minus 4k is 162 minus 36, which is 126. So k equals 9 works. Now we will take an inductive approach to show that if some k satisfies the inequality for n, 
but not for n plus 1, then k plus 1 will satisfy the inequality for n plus 1. So what we mean is that we have a base case, n equals 100, k equals 9. If n equals 100 will work with k equals 9, then great. But if we get to some n where k already no longer works, we can add 1 to the k and the inequality will hold. So what we get is k squared plus 2k less than or equal to n less than or equal to 2k squared minus 4k holds, but k squared plus 2k less than or equal to n plus 1 less than or equal to 2k squared minus 4k does not hold. Well, the first part still holds. n plus 1 is still greater or equal to k squared plus 2k, but n plus 1 less than or equal to 2k squared minus 4k does not necessarily hold. And what it implies is that n is equal to 2k squared minus 4k. So we will argue that k plus 1 squared plus 2 multiplied by k plus 1 is less than or equal to n plus 1 less than or equal to 2 multiplied by k plus 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by k plus 1 does hold in this situation. So k plus 1 squared plus 2 multiplied by k plus 1 is equal to k squared plus 4k plus 3 and 4k squared plus 4k plus 3 less than or equal to 2k squared minus 4k plus 1 to hold. We need 8k plus 2 less than or equal to k squared to hold, which we know will hold for k greater or equal to 9, which we already know is true since for n equal to 100, the smallest n, k equals 9. So the first part, k plus 1 squared plus 2 multiplied by k plus 1 less than or equal to n plus 1, that holds because n plus 1 is in fact 2k squared minus 4k plus 1. We will now go on to the second part. We need to show that n plus 1 is less than or equal to 2 multiplied by k plus 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by k plus 1. Well, 2 multiplied by k plus 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by k plus 1 is equal to 2k squared minus 2. And for 2k squared minus 2 to be greater or equal to n plus 1, which is 2k squared minus 4k plus 1, 4k must be greater or equal to 3 which we know is true since k is greater or equal to 9. So 2 multiplied by k plus 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by k plus 1 is in fact greater or equal to n plus 1. So what we get is k plus 1 squared plus 2 multiplied by k plus 1 is less than or equal to n plus 1 and 2 multiplied by k plus 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by k plus 1 is greater or equal to n plus 1. We can put these two inequalities together to get k plus 1 squared plus 2 multiplied by k plus 1 less than or equal to n plus 1 less than or equal to 2 multiplied by k plus 1 squared minus 4 multiplied by k plus 1 as desired. And so the induction is complete. If k works for n but k doesn't work for n plus 1, k plus 1 works for n plus 1. And so we know that we can always find a, b, and c in between n and 2n, and so the problem is solved. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below, and see you next time.